Hey YouTube, how's it going? And welcome back to another Fallout 76 guide. Today we are looking at lead. If you don't know, lead in this game is very valuable because you need it to make bullets. Trust me when I say this, you will be going through bullets a lot in this game. You will not realize how much you will be shooting stuff. Like every around every corner there's going to be an enemy and you're going to be using the bullets to kill that enemy. So you do need a lot of lead to be able to kill these enemies. And in this video, I will be showing you three different ways to get lead through deposits, through junk and from mining. So the first way to get lead in Fallout 76 is from lead deposits. You will find these deposits all over the map. You will find all different kinds as well. You'll find acid deposits, iron deposits, oil deposits and so on. So the one that we are looking for today are lead deposits. When you find a lead deposit, you will have to place down your camp if it's out in the wild. And once you place down your camp, you're going to be looking for the mineral extractor. And once you place that down, you just need to power it up with 10 energy and you will be able to passively get lead from these deposits. Now, check back every 20 to 30 minutes and you will be able to get 10 lead each time. And it's just a very good passive way to get lead. There are several locations on the map that you can find these deposits at. The one that I am at right now is right here next to Top of the World. And it's just a very nice location. You have a nice little view over the forest area. And it's, you know, it's just one of them nice little locations. And yeah, I'm passively getting lead now. I'm going to be checking every 20 to 30 minutes. And just always getting that 10 lead every 20 to 30 minutes. So once you find a lead deposit out in the world where you can place your camp at, you will now be looking for workshops. Poseidon Energy Plant Yard is one of them workshops where you can actually put down a lead extractor and get lead from there. So check back every 20 to 30 minutes. Berkeley Springs West is another location that has lead. So you can just put down a lead extractor, get more lead from that location. And then you have Dolly Sods, which is another location where you can put down a lead extractor and you get more lead so just check back every 20 to 30 minutes at each of these locations. I just showed you four different locations that you can get lead from. So just every time you log on to this game, check back every 20 to 30 minutes when you log in and you will be able to get 40 lead every 20 to 30 minutes. It's just a nice little passive way to get lead and I could not recommend it enough. So if lead deposits ain't your speed in this game and you want to be able to get lead faster, what I would recommend is try and find gyms in this game. The dumbbells on gyms give you a decent amount of lead and you can find many gyms in this game. So the first gym we're going to be looking at is the country, uh, the Green Country Lodge gym. It's just south of Vault 76. When you get to this location, you're just going to be coming from the swimming pool into this little area right here and when you get in here you will see the dumbbells on the racks on the floors you're just going to have to pick them all up they do weigh a ton so just make sure you look out for that because you will become over encumbered but make, make sure you pick up all the dumbbells and then scrap them and you should have a nice amount of lead from that the next location to find more weights is the charleston fire station so this is just south of Vault 76. You will find this place along the storyline in this game. When you spawn in, you're going to look at the fountain and go through the main doors. You're going to be going into the school-like area, turn right into this broken down wall, and you will see more weights on the floor. There is a workbench in this location, so you will be able to use it so you're not always over encumbered. And when you scrap all of the weights, you will get a decent amount of lead from this location. The next location to get more weights is the Eastern Regional Penitentiary. This is just northeast of Fall 76. Once you spawn in, you will see the entrance right there. Instead, you're going to be coming on left and going around the back. When you go around the back, you're going to see a broken down wall and you're going to be going into this location. Just be careful, this place is surrounded with super mutants. But uh, once you get into the open uh, courtyard, you're going to see all the weights in the center. Go over, pick them all up, scrap them, and there you just got a lot more lead. The next location to find more weights is in the vault University. It's just east of Vault 76. Once you get into this location, you're just going to be following my character right now to the right, all the way down this hall to the left, and you'll be in the physical activity center, and you're just going to be going over to these weight benches right here, and you can find a weight right behind them and over beside them.
And the final location to find weights is in any of the silos. If you go to Alpha, Bravo, or Charlie, you will find weights in these locations. You go to you can go to all three in a server to find these weights. I'm gonna show you an alpha because since all of the silos are the same layout, you will be able to find them easy. So once you get out of the elevator, you're gonna be just going straight into the open area. You're going to be going into the bunks area, past here, into the gym area, and you're gonna just see all of the weights around this location. Pick them all up. Just be cautious though. There is a lot of robots around this location that will try and kill you. And uh, sneaking doesn't really work in this location either because the robots are just an onslaught of them. So just pick up all the weights in this area and you will be able to scrap them for a lot of lead. So the last location I'm going to show you to get lead and this is probably the best end game location is Lucky Hole Mine. You can find this mine all the way down at Watoga. And once you spawn into this location, you will be going straight into the mine. I would highly recommend getting Excavator Power Armor for this. If you do not have Excavator Power Armor, I do have a guide. So you can just follow that guide. It will be in the description. But get Excavator Power Armor. It will get you four times from these little nodes in this location. You can easily come out of this location with a thousand lead this is the best end game lead farm in the game so i would highly recommend getting excavator armor and following my character right now so once you spawn into this location you're going to be following the route that i take on screen right now just be careful this place is surrounded with enemies and they do pack a punch so just take them out along the route i'm going to be showing you the general locations of where these lead nodes spawn but I won't be picking them up myself. I'm just going to be showing you a, a very quick way of just like, you know, where you're going to find them. And you're just going to pick them up when you follow this guide. So you're going to be coming along this way right here. And you're going to see this little like um, tra tractor type vehicle right there. You're going to see some lead in this area right here. Then if you come behind there, you're going to see more lead in this area right here. Just make sure you look at the ceilings. You can see them on the ceiling there and over in the corner there. So just make sure you ca ca uh, pick them all up. When you're done there, you're going to be going to the right. And when you, you come down here, you're going to be looking to the left and you're going to see them more on the ground, on the ceiling, on the walls. Just make sure you pick them all up there. Then you're going to see this little statue here and you're going to be coming to it the left. You're going to be going down this little hill right here, following the general route. And you're going to see this door right here. This door is going to be locked. You do not need to go through this door at all. So you're just going to be going to the right. And you're going to see this little area right here. You're going to see some of the ores on the walls there, over there. Just, as I said, just look around. You will see them in this general location. And you're going to be going through this location right here. When you're in this location, you're going to be going down into the water because you will see them along the walls. You can see them there. I have picked them up already, so you can't see the little, um, the little lead dots on them. But they are in this location. Just look around. Now, when you get to this part right here, you're not going to be going left. You're just going to be going straight down to the water. So you're going to be going straight and you're going to look around this location because this location is going to get you more lead and this area will start getting you crystals. So just like, you know, pick them all up. Crystals do become very useful later on in the game. So just pick them all up when you're in this location. Now, when you get to this location right here, you can look around this location. There has been times where I've seen like the lead spawn right here on the walls, as you can see right there. You can also just check around there just to make sure that you're not missing anything. But um, yeah, just in this location, just look around a little. But um, if you go up that way, you're actually going to be going back to the pool of water that I was speaking about earlier. Instead of going left, you went straight down to the water. If you went that way, you would have ended up just back in this location anyway. But when you come from this area right here, you're actually going to be going straight and not up them stairs. You're going to be going straight along this way. And you're going to just follow this general route and you'll find more crystals, more lead along this way. You'll also see a few enemies here. These enemies are random. Sometimes they'll be mole rats, sometimes they'll be ants, sometimes they'll be crickets. It's all random. But when you get to this location right here, this is the end. So you're going to go and you're going to just look around this little location. You're going to see the lead nodes, the crystal nodes on the walls, on the... um 
on the floor all around this location and then you are done with lucky hole mine So when you're done with Lucky Hole Mine and you found all the lead that you could find, go to a chemistry station. Make sure you put on Super Duper because Super Duper does work. You're going to be smelting down these ores. So go to the chemistry station, go down to smelting and go down to lead. I ended up with uh, 290 lead ore from that location. Just remember you do need acid for this as well. I will link an acid guide in the description as well because I did make one not so long ago. So make sure you go check that out if you do need acid, but go and smelt all of the lead that you got. And at the end of this video, with Super Duper equipped, I ended up with 1,252 lead overall, which is pretty decent. I got around 1,000 lead from Lucky Hole Mine, and the other 200 plus came from them weights. So guys, if you enjoyed this video and you thought it was helpful, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you for the next one. Thank you and goodbye.